Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're going to tackle the uh, 17th challenge in the intermediate section. It's called Drop It. So let's take a look at what we have to do. Drop the elements of an array, starting from the front, until the predicate returns true. So we've got two arguments here. We've got the array, and we've got the so-called predicate, which is really just an anonymous function. So drop the elements of an array, starting from the front, okay, right here, until the predicate returns true. So basically, um, uh, we're going to take each item of an array and we're going to pass it into this uh, function right here. And if it returns false, we're going to uh, chop it off. And uh, we're going to keep repeating this process until a value passes true. And then we'll stop the iteration and return the rest of the array. Um, and we're going to use the shift method to do that. Um, so just to kind of, you know, uh, you know, I've always confused these um, methods, but push adds a method, uh, sorry, push adds an item, a value to the end of the array, and pop removes the last item at the end of the array. Shift removes the first item of an array, and unshift, believe it or not, it adds an item to the array. Okay, so we're going to use the shift method because it's telling us to drop or to remove an item starting from the front. So we need shift to do that until the predicate returns true. The second argument is a function you'll use to test the first elements of the array to decide if you should drop it or not. Return the rest of the array, otherwise return an empty array. So just to give you an idea of, um, of one of the examples that we have to pass, I'm going to um, blow this up. So we have this array, um, one, two, three, and four. Okay, and we need to um, we need to test each of the items. So we're going to return um, all the numbers that are greater than or equal to three. So is one greater than or equal to three? No, it isn't. Remove it. Is two greater than or equal to three? No, it isn't. Remove it. Is 3 greater than or equal to 3? Yes, it is. That's true. Stop iterating through the array and return uh, this part of the array. Just return whatever is left. Okay, and let's look at this second example. All right, we have 0, 1, 0, 1. All right, and uh, basically we need to know if the, um, if the value is equal to 1. So is 0 equal to 1? No, it's not. Pop it off. Is 1 equal to 1? Yes, it is. Stop iterating and return the rest of this array. So it should return 1, 0, 1. Even though this value right here would not pass the test, uh, the challenge is telling us to stop iterating as soon as the predicate um, returns true. Okay, so that's what we have to do, and that's what we're going to do for this challenge. All right, so uh, anyway, uh, I've got my new JavaScript file right here. It's 17dropit.js, and I already went ahead and embedded that on line 11 of my example.html file. Um, I'm going to use, um, I mean, ordinarily, it, it, you know, if I'm filtering through an array, I would use the filter method. Um, but if I use the filter method, it would remove all of the items that you know, fail the test and return false. And I don't want that. I just want to remove the ones in the beginning. And as soon as I hit the first true response, the value that passes the test, then I'm going to stop iterating and just return the rest of the array. So I am going to create a while loop to do this. Um, unlike a for loop, a for loop is really good when we know how many times we're going to iterate through something. A while loop is really good when we're unsure, you know, um, when we're going to um, when we're going to. Um, uh, I mean, when we're unsure, you know, how many times we're going to iterate through something. So um, I think a while loop is a is a good kind of loop for this challenge. So I'm going to say while. 
And I'm going to keep looping through the array and I'm going to keep removing items so long as it returns false. So while um, func, okay, that is the name of the function. And we're going to test the, the first value of the, fun, uh, of the array. So while func is, um, oops, that's not right. Okay. And uh, remember function, it takes a number. So I'm just accessing the first number of the array. So array with the bracket zero. Okay. Um, so basically, if the number from the array returns false from this test, then I'm going to remove that element. So I'm going to say array.shift. So it will remove that first element. It will take everything and just scoot it on over. So for example, um, you know, if, if I have an array like this, and if I call you know, shift on it, it will actually mutate the array. So it would look something like this. All right. So before two was in the index one position, but after I call shift, it removed that numeral one and moved everything over. Now two is in the index zero position. So as long as the first value of the array returns false from the test, we're going to remove the uh, that item and then we're going to iterate through it again. Um, and as soon as we hit the true statement, Okay, as soon as the value of, a, a, of an array returns true, um, that's it. I mean, it, it's not going to execute this code. And then we can just say return array. So save that. And for this example, it should uh, give us everything. Um, let's go to our source. Oh, not our source. Let's go to our JavaScript console. Okay, and uh, let me just, yeah, okay, and there we go. We get one, two, and three. Uh, let's try it again. Uh, let me try it with another one. Let's see here, do, 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 do. Yeah, let me try it with this one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna copy that. Oops, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I think. That looks good. Okay, I'm going to save that. All right, and it should give me an array 101. Let me, okay, and there we go. Cool, that works. And I'm just going to copy and paste this. Okay, oh, I've got plenty of time. Going to pre code camp. Okay, face melting guitar solo. Sweet. All right, cool. So we got a lot of time. Let's just run through this again. A while loop is uh, perfect when we don't know how many times we have to um, go through an array. So I'm going to use, or, or you know, sorry, let me back up. A while loop is good when we don't know how many times we have to loop through something. So as long as this condition is true, okay. And, uh, and basically, we're saying, because we're adding the exclamation point, so as long as this is returning false, okay, we're just going to remove uh, the first item. So um, let's, let's do what, what I did before. Let's do, um, nope, that's not what I want. Yeah, let's do this guy here. Okay, so, whoops, what am I doing here? Okay. All right, so we got this uh, array right here, and we got our function. Okay, so um, array zero right now would be this value, and if we pass it into the function, okay, all right, so n, that would be zero. So here's the zero, it's going in here. So return n or zero equal to one. Well, that would be false. So this right here is false, 
but because we're adding the exclamation point, remember the exclamation point turns a false into a true, and it turns a true into a false. And the while loop, it's gonna keep looping and it's gonna keep executing so long whatever is in here is true. So when we pass in zero to this function, it's gonna return false, but this exclamation point makes it true. So it, so it's going to execute uh, every time this test returns false. And when we do it the first time, we're calling shift on the array. So it removes that zero and it, it moves everything else over. And then now array zero, index zero is actually one. And we pass into the function. One is equal to one. It's true. Uh, but this exclamation point makes it false. Oh, it evaluates the false, so we're going to exit the loop and just return the array. So that's what's happening right there. And okay, so that's all for this challenge. Uh, relatively easy compared with uh, uh, some of the uh, earlier challenges in this section. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, I would love to hear from you. Please uh, show your love and, uh, and get in touch with me with the comments below. Uh, I would also love it if you subscribe to my channel and uh, share the love with other people, especially if you find it very helpful. Okay, that's all for now, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Boop.